This is the brand new Sonic Fire Pro 6 from Smart Sound. Brand new interface, brand new audio engine, brand new audio features all built upon the legendary duration and music mixing capability that Smart Sound has always provided. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Let me show you how this works. Let's pick a tune. Let's say this one. Let's dial in a duration. Let's say 14 and a half seconds. Hit the play button. Exactly the duration of exactly the piece of music that you selected created right in front of your eyes. You want something shorter, let's say six seconds. <laughs> Trust me if I say if I create something longer, say let's make it, oh, three minutes. It'll be three minutes, but we don't have to sit here and listen to it. I want to get into the software itself. Let's take something which is a little bit shorter. We'll say 12 seconds. And I have a variety of variations. We have Thug, which is the recommended mix. But we could also do something like Creep. No, not quite exactly what I want. How about Sneak? I just want the drums. No, maybe what I want instead is the leads. Do you see what's possible here? Any duration, any variation, any instrumentation from any piece of music that you select. Well, this has been in Smart Sound for a long time, but in this interface, all of the controls are now in a single window. We start over here on the left-hand side where we can say, just show me the titles that I own, and I'll uncheck those that are available in the store. Or if you only own a few titles and want to know what's available, turn Smart Sound Store on and notice this gray icon here. This is a song that's in a library that's stored on Smart Sound servers that is not yet on your computer. To hear a preview, just click it. It accesses the web and plays a preview for you. All previews run 30 seconds. If you decide that that's the one you want, add it to your cart and purchase it from Smart Sound. And in just a few seconds, it's downloaded and ready for you to work with. But your auditions are free. We can sell clips which are multi-layer, meaning they support mood mapping, the ability to change instruments, single layer, which is a standard stereo clip. But under style, we have all these different ways that we can select. Maybe you want to look for a specific instrument say accordion because clearly we're we're doing a polka piece <laughs> or big band or celeste or a chamber group or we could select say a style let's say we want to go with a style which is alternative rock and we're going to sort by intensity to make sure that the most intense is right on top and then let's play this <laughs> No, let's try making our clip a little shorter. Let's make it eight and a half seconds just to make it more challenging and try Frat Party. You start to see how easy it is to find exactly the music that you want. We could select, say, oh, let's try something more romantic. Romance. And let's find something which is more, oh, carefree. And we'll try this one. And if you want, we can actually search for a title. And there's one that I want to look for, which is called Just Say Hey. Press the Enter key. And there it is, it shows up, which gives me a chance to highlight these three buttons over here. This is the inspector and the ability to look at markers, but I want to add a video. Let's add a snowboard video here. Now we've got some dynamic snowboard footage, courtesy of Standard Films. At this point, we have two ways to get our music out of Sonic Fire Pro. One is the traditional way, and the other is a brand new way. Let me show you the traditional way first. 
If I look down here in the timeline, notice there's two markers that indicate the start and end of my video. If I click on the last marker, the playhead jumps to it, showing me that my video runs 29 seconds and 29 frames. For my first example, I don't actually need the video, so let's remove the video, set the duration to 30 seconds, and listen to the music. Could be good. Let's try a different take. Let's try true. Hmm, I like that, but I don't want to use the full. I just want to have the drums. Ah, that is exactly what I want. So how do I export it? Notice this button right down here. When you click export, it says I'm going to export whatever is selected up here in this window. I can export it for video or for audio CDs. Always use 48K for video. You can export it as an AIF or WAV and Premiere and Final Cut and Avid like both equally. I'll just take the default, which is AIF. Click export. Give it a name. I'm going to say this is the drum track. Faster than a speeding bullet. There it is. And double click it. We have 30 perfect seconds of rhythmic drums, which can then be imported into Final Cut or Avid or Premiere or Vegas or iMovie or any of your favorite video editing software. This is just a standard audio file that works exactly like any other audio file. But there's something even cooler that's brand new in this version that I want to show you. And here, let's pull our video back and let's reset our time to 8.15 and let's add that snowboard video again. And now we're going to take advantage of two features. First is the timeline down here and second, the brand new cut to video. Let me show you how this works. We're going to set the Just Say Hey, grab it, drag it down to the timeline, and I can now mix my audio to the video. In fact, if I hit the space bar, uh, wait a minute, the music ended, but the video is not yet out. Rather than have to dial in whatever duration you think the video is, just grab the edge of the clip, drag it down, and now when you play it, In fact, I have to show you this is one really cool feature. If you click the Advanced tab, see where it says Show Tap a Beat? I know that I want to have my music with a beat that's like boom, 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 about that speed. You just click it. Boom, 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 five times. And it automatically shows you every clip that hits the duration, in this case 113 beats per minute, that we typed in. That is just... Uh, my mind blown. Anyway, let's go back to the video. When we play this, it's not bad, but it's not perfect. What I want to do is I want to take advantage of one of the brand new features inside this version of Sonic Fire and export a clip that has markers in it that allows me to align the video to the marker. Select the clip, go up to File, go down to Cut Video to Music, and a dialog shows up that allows me to put markers on every beat or strong beat. I'm going to put it on the strong beat for Premiere or Final Cut. I'll do Final Cut. Export only the selected track as an AIF. Click Export. It stores it wherever I want. I'll put it to the desktop. It exports it, opens up Final Cut, and says, what do I want to connect it to? I want to connect it to that library. Click Choose. It automatically adds a new event right there. There's my audio. Let's put our playhead at the beginning, edit it down to the timeline, and look at every single one of those markers indicating the downbeat, the strong beat of every measure. As I play this and zoom in. Look at that. There's the beat, but there's my edit. Select the trim tool, pull that over, snap it right to the beat. Up, oh, this one's off just a hair. We'll pull that over.
Is that cool or what? By the way, Cut to Video will also support Avid Media Composer and Sony Vegas Pro. The program is the brand new Sonic Fire Pro 6 from Smart Sound. And I'm looking forward to showing you all its new features.